Welcome back to Mr. Space Toast Reviews. I'm Jackson, and today we watch The Purge. So without further ado, this is your emergency broadcast system. Your purge will begin in three, two, now. Have fun killing each other. I said don't worry, honey. They can't get in our house. What's that? I think I hear something. There's a man wanting into our house. Even though it is the night where it's legal for anybody to kill me, I should let him in. Don't worry, man. I'm coming. Tap, tap. So, um, you've got our target for the purge. So if you don't come out of your house in, oh, let's say an hour, we're gonna break in and kill you all. So, uh, honey, I might have lied about the whole they can't get into our house thing. Oh, yeah. We can get into your house now. <gasps> the Purge is a thriller horror kind of thingy thingy. It's thriller and it's horror. It was made by the same people that did Insidious. So you know it's going to be good. And they also did Paranormal Activity. A lot of the story was really predictable. I mean, the guy who sells security systems, his security system's gonna go wrong. Of course it is, it's a movie. But despite all the super predictable plot points, it was still good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. One of the things that really bothered me was I didn't really see the actual family being a family unit almost ever in the movie. And it was like you wanted to root for the family, but you were also like, that daughter's a bit of a brat. So maybe she should die. Also, the son's creepy, like, remote-controlled baby doll head thing was way scarier than any of the other things in the movies. I do not like baby dolls with glowing red eyes. They are terrified with that. Never. No. No. But other than that, it was good. It was scary, but also action-y, and I liked that. Actors in this movie. Ethan Hawke plays the main character. He's good, but man, Ethan Hawke... You're getting kind of old. Lena Headley, who plays his wife, you might recognize her from Game of Thrones. And so you might recognize her from there. She's really good. She looks like an older Emma Stone. And so, yeah, she's good. I like her. Uh, Max Burkholder, who plays the son. I liked him. He was a good actor. I wasn't a big fan of his character. Adeline Kane. I liked her. She was good. Her character was a brat. But, you know, I think that was just her character. I really liked her. It was, it was good. It was good. Rise Wakefield, who plays the really creepy dude, the camera dude that, like, looks up into the thing in all the commercials. Man, is he creepy. I like him. I wish he was in it more, almost. Because he was really creepy, but also really good. Creepy guy's character kind of reminded me of the Mad Hatter, which made Makes me want to put a Mad Hatter hat. I'm back and I have a Mad Hatter hat. So this movie, I'm gonna give it drum roll, please. Now it's the Wheel of Fortune wheel. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten toasts. It was good. It was scary, but it didn't get you with too many of the cheap jump scares. It held up as a thrill, and I'm glad and I'm looking forward to see more from these producers. This has been Mr. Space Toaster Reviews. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. <laughs>